With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that if omega is the cube root of unity, we need to prove that this matrix plus this matrix and then result is multiplied with this matrix here will give us zero matrix. Okay? So it is given omega is cube root of unity. We will discuss this fact later on this question. Okay. First we will find the addition of these two matrices. Okay, let's write these two matrices here. So these are the two matrices that, whose addition we need to find. Okay, so we know how to add two matrices. Okay, add add values at the same position of two matrices. For example, here we are having one, here we are having omega. So at this position I will write 1 plus omega. Okay, now omega plus omega square here and this will be omega square plus omega. Similarly here I will write omega plus omega square. Okay omega square plus 1 and here we'll write 1 plus omega square now come to this one it will be omega square plus 1 and this 1 plus omega and this one omega plus 1 or we can say 1 plus omega okay this is the value of addition of these two matrices now we need to multiply this result with this matrix okay so let's write here with this result i will write this matrix here that is the column matrix 1 omega and omega square okay we need to multiply these two matrices now. Okay, we know how to multiply two matrices. Row of this matrix multiply column of this matrix. Then second row multiply with same column and then third row multiply with same column. Okay, so let's write here it will be 1 multiply with 1 plus omega. So it will be written same 1 plus omega. Now second value, okay, this value is multiply with omega. So this will become omega square plus omega cube. Okay plus last value this value will be multiplied with omega square so it will be omega raised to power 4 plus omega square here now similarly it will be omega plus omega square plus it will be omega cube plus omega now plus omega square plus omega cube okay and now third row multiply with that column so what we will get here omega square plus omega then we will get omega plus omega cube then we'll get omega square plus omega cube here okay this is the word this is the value that we'll get after multiplication of these two matrices okay as we have discussed here that omega is given cube root of unity so what does it mean cube root of unity means that let me tell you here okay cube root of unity means omega cube value will be equals to one okay cube root of unity means omega cube value will be one so what will be the value of omega raised to power four it can be written as omega multiplied with omega cube or we can say value of omega raised to power 4 will be omega only because omega cube is 1. Okay. So let's write here after multiplication after solving this value what we'll get. Okay. 1 plus omega plus omega square. Okay. What I said in place of omega cube I will write 1. So plus 1 omega raised to power 4 means omega only plus omega square here. Okay. Now here what we'll get omega plus omega square. In place of omega q, I'll write 1 plus omega plus then omega square and again 1. Okay, now omega square plus omega plus omega again. So plus omega, omega q will be written 1 plus omega square and then we are having 1 here because omega cube is 1. And let me tell you one more thing. Omega is given cube root of infinity. So it means that 1 plus omega plus omega square value will be always 0. This is one more property, okay? So what we have concluded, omega is cube root of unity means omega cube value will be 1, okay? Omega raised to power 4 value will be omega and third thing is 1 plus omega plus omega square value will be 0, okay? Let's simplify this further on simplification. What we'll get here? Look, 1 plus omega plus omega square, okay? So what I said, this value will be 0 and again 1 plus omega plus omega square, this value will be also 0, okay? So I will write here 0. Now look, come back, come to second row. 1 plus omega plus omega square. In place of these value, I will write 0. Again, 1 plus omega plus omega square. Here also, I will write 0 in row number 2. Now come to last row here. Look here. 1, omega and omega square, 0. Again, omega square, 1 and omega. Here also, we will get 0. Okay, so what we have concluded that this is a 0 matrix. Okay. And look what we need to prove that it will be like this. And here we have proved it. So it is equal to RHS. Hence proved. Thank you.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.